What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Jay, and I'm about to pop my sh again. Today is gonna be another chit chat video. I am getting in the habit of just not overthinking my content and just putting it out there. I know for a lot of you guys who have been following me for years, y'all are used to vlogs. And don't worry, vlogs are going to be back sooner than later, okay? But as of now, right now, I am at a space in my life where it life is just life. And I've said this before. And I do not feel comfortable with vlogging and, you know, just always being out, just trying to get footage. Um, I'm the type of person where, you know... I'm going to sit down, I'm going to think, I'm going to execute the situation, get to the bottom of the problem, and fix it. Not the one to pick up the camera and be like, oh, I got to go get content, so let me go outside just to get content. Let me go outside, spend a whole bunch of money knowing I don't need to, knowing I have bills, um, just to get content. Um, things are going to look a lot differently. Um... From even from other content creators, you guys, I want to keep a very authentic, raw content like all across where i just want to be authentic and raw um i do not have time to sit up here and make up like you know fake videos i think that's gonna go viral um that's just not where i'm at in life right now right now i am at the point where i'm trying to get my business off the ground and i'm trying to get in, into my career ah, i'm getting nervous talking about i get nervous talking about shit like this y'all but with that being said um i'm just I'm just no longer overthinking my content. Um, I'm going to post whenever I feel like posting, whatever I feel like posting. Um, I have been losing um, some subscribers, not a lot, but I've seen, you know, my numbers are slowly like kind of dropping and I get it. It's understandable. But as for right now, um, I have to do what's best for me. And right now, what's best for me is to just cut on the camera and just upload. Um... I cannot think about, oh, are they going to watch this? Is this boring? I cannot continue to think about that because I am at the point in my life where I have to, like, it's 2023 and April is almost up. It's about to be May of 2023. That means I graduated a year ago and I get, you know, it's no rush. I still got my whole life ahead of me and I'm actually glad I didn't really jump straight into my career after um, college because I did need time to just sit down and kind of rest and heal and which I've done all those things but now I am ready to go ahead and start back posting content. Um, I've been working on sets lately y'all. This is pretty much like a uh embrace of letting go of the past type of video and me just venting to you guys like i always do um and which i all will i and which i will continue to do so i'm hoping you guys do take like into these videos because they're going to be a lot of these videos um not so much on this channel i'm just starting off on this channel while i'm still trying to brand everything for out loud make sure you guys subscribe to out loud which is my web show since around mental health if you are not subscribed please go subscribe to that as well um so until i can get things together with out loud right now i'm gonna move my mental health talks and my chit chats and just give you guys the real raw authentic me i have been basically battling you know this imposter syndrome um thinking that you know i'm not good enough or thinking that um i'm not going to get to where i'm going to go and it's just like i'm just so sick of even thinking like that i'm so sick of not posting content for whatever reason i bought this camera so the content is getting posted it might not be you know what i'm used to posting it might not be what i want to post it might not be what you guys want to see but this is the real this is real this is me I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now. Gonna let the light shine on me. Now I am who I am. There's no way to hold it in. No more hiding who I wanna be. This is me. <laughs> but no, for y'all, this is me. Seriously. And again, like, y'all, I'm just that crazy. Like, I just break out into song. Just a true theater kid. But anyways, y'all, back to the title of the video. The, the title of this video is going to be called Embrace Letting Go of Your Past. 
Um, I've been struggling with that these past, um, well, just technically this past year. Um, I've talked to you guys about this. Um, and yeah, some, so much has changed. I'm not the same person I was in 2022, um, at all. I'm not like, I'm just totally on a totally different wave right now. When I say, so here's, I do want to clarify this. When I say... I don't have anybody that's not that doesn't mean like I can't call you know my family or I don't have any friends or anything like that that's not what I'm trying to say I do need to get better at be at wording that because that's not what I'm trying to say at all but what I mean by I do not have anybody I mean I literally stay by myself I with myself 24 7 um I don't have like a boyfriend I don't have like very many close friends so when I say I'm by myself I'm really battling like so many things by myself and I'm my own rescue plan. So in order for me to get from the past and step into the future, because right now, I'm going to be honest with y'all, right now I'm in the middle. So this is the past, this is the middle, and this is the future. I'm in like this weird gray area of my life where I am no longer operating as my past self, but I have not fully stepped into my future self. And with that being said, it looks a little different for me because I'm starting to notice things are happening. And I'll be honest to say, it feels like my whole life is falling apart. Like, I feel like nothing good has been um, happening to me. I feel like I keep running into problem after problem. And it's not because it's karma. It's not because I'm a bad person. It's literally just because I'm going through all of these things in order to become the best person I could be in the future. They always say whenever you're feeling like your life is falling apart or whenever you feel like just nothing is going good you're closer to your breakthrough so here i am i'm holding on i'm keeping faith and i'm just embracing the fact of just letting go um letting go of that self-doubt letting go of that imposter syndrome letting go of overthinking um do i think that my content can be better yes do i feel like i could be more consistent yes have i overthought a lot of my content yes do I want to continue to do that? No. <laughs> I am at the place where I want this to work for me. In order for me to want this, I have to really go for it. I cannot keep overthinking certain things. And I feel like I've just been overthinking, you know, oh my gosh, they're probably not going to watch this. Or I'm probably sounding repetitive talking about the same things. And it's like, you guys... I just, I can't, like, I can't just sit here and not do content anymore. That's just, that's just not where I'm at right now. Because what I'm doing is essentially stopping my money flow. Um, I do make money from doing content, um, posting videos, um, brand deals, and things of that nature. So I cannot continue to sit in the space of where I feel like I'm just stagnant. I just have to go for it. And I do want to have that conversation with you guys and just to put this on here and i will make sure i keep this video up so you guys can understand that all of my videos are not going to always be some glammed up some glamorous like no this is real this is me like i have to really just get comfortable with just particularly being me you know right now i don't have the the strength to really pretend like I can't pretend I watch my videos sometimes like when I go back I don't want to be like Ugh, what am I even talking about because I'm just lying no I want to go back and be like you know what this was so real of me this was so honest of me and I'm glad I did this in order to embrace the fact of letting go you have to understand that you cannot be scared of what's to come in the future and I feel like that's also been a problem I'm scared of the future me um, I feel like she is super powerful. I feel like she is resilient. I feel like she is so confident. And sometimes she scares me because it's like, hmm, I wonder, I, is people going to think she's the same? But it's like, again, I cannot continue to worry about what people think. Um, I cannot continue to worry about um, how things look on the outside. Um, this is me. And right now in my life, I'm going through a lot. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going through a lot right now. We're in the middle of a, of a recession. Like, let's be so freaking for real. 
um, everybody's going through something right now. So I know I'm not the only one. And that's the reason why I try my best to put out these videos because you guys need to see more influencers and more people who do content actually talking about the stuff that really matters. People always want to get on here and talk about the drama and talk about this, that, and the third. Well, I've outgrown, not that I ever was talking about drama or being in, in mess or anything like that um in the first place but i've outgrown a lot of that stuff and i'm the type of person and i just seen this video so i'm gonna show y'all the video actually i like people who live in their own world and don't believe things that people say and don't judge well, people nails, other people's y experiences and and not like super into the outside world like they're so into themselves they travel and party and do things and so into their own friends that they don't have time to think about other people and, and what other people gotta say and shit like that like i love that like i love people who mind their fucking business and live their life to the fullest without outside opinions or judgments like i love that love 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 i love people who live in their own so um i saw this video on my tl and y'all this is what i commented that this is me but in reality we get called weird or selfish whole time we are just content in our space and not neglecting others the reason why this is important to my video is because as y'all could tell in the video she said she loves people who are in their own bubble in their own world you know they don't care about outside opinions they just live life according to them that's how i am so moving forward as i am posting these videos I no longer care about the views. I no longer care about the likes. I no longer care about the comments. I'm still going to encourage you guys to like, comment, and share, and do all of those good things, and to subscribe, because of course that is, is essentially what I want, but I don't care to overindulge in the fact of, okay, I didn't get a thousand or 3,000 or 10,000 video views on this video, so I'm not going to post for a month or two. I'm no longer doing that. I have to be consistent. I have to get out of it, and I have to just be content in my space, as I said in this comment. Um, and I said, we get called weird or selfish, and it's not that I am weird or selfish. I'm just a person who sees a certain vision for myself. And because I see this certain vision for myself, I want to be able to embrace that vision. I want to be able to get exactly what I see. When God gives you a calling, it is not a conference call. Everyone is not going to understand why you move the way you move. Everyone is not going to understand why you act the way you act all the time. It's just, hey, it's just, it's, it's their perception and their perception and their opinion. But as long as you can look into the mirror and be like, I know this person. I know me. I know who I am. I know what I want. I know what I don't want. You are good. And people take that, you know, and run with it. Like, oh, she's weird. She acting funny. She ain't messing with us no more. Oh, she this, she that. It's not that. I'm just content in my own space and I'm content with who I am. The reason why this implies to embracing um, the letting go of your past is because you want to be able to let go in your past but also accept your future. Accept that everyone is just not going to be able to grow with you. When you are growing, it's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different ball game. And some people can see that you are growing and elevating. And sometimes they, without them even knowing it, they're detaching themselves because they're calling you weird or fake or selfish because of certain aspects. But listen, let me tell you something. When you get to a certain age, or not, not even an age, when you get to a certain place in your life and you reach a certain level of wisdom, you're going to look at things totally different. I look at things totally different now. I've been living by myself for a whole year. You cannot think that I still act the same how I act when I was staying with my moms or somebody. It's a whole different ball game. And when you are comfortable and content in your own space, it's not saying that you're going to neglect others and, you know, other, other people's feelings and other people's problems. But I'm just so happy with what I, with who I am and what, what I have going that I don't care to let anybody on the outside disrupt my peace. Like I'm embracing to let everything go, leave it in the past. And I am welcoming in this new and improved future version of me. Just, you know, if I can just change and just help one person's life, that's all. That's good enough for me. 
um, because at least I know I'm moving in, moving in the right direction of, of my purpose. You know, I no longer want to sit here and keep neglecting the things that I need to be doing because I'm in my head about things not going right in my life or something always happening. Well, it's happening because, hey, God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. And you best believe that the pain that you're feeling right now will never amount to the joy that you will feel later. So no matter what it is that you're going through, always continues to keep going i wish i didn't stop posting i wish i didn't stop posting pictures on instagram i wish i didn't stop posting youtube videos um and i've been beating myself up that's why it's been so hard to pick up this camera and even speak about this and even just talk because i've been beating myself up i've been feeling like huh well now i have to start all the way over and that's okay even if i have to start all, all the way over hey so be it my audience is going to find me and they're going to love me for me um, the people that I meet um, in my future life is going to love me uh, for me and just, you know, be so understanding. I no longer care to um, sit and dwell on the past. I think I've been doing that a lot lately. And this is my video to say no more. I'm not doing it no more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and continue to support me. Continue to um, watch these videos because you never know what you can learn. This is what we're doing. I'm just documenting my life. Going back to the basics, baby. I'm going to see y'all in the next one.